Wow, it's been so long since I made a video that I haven't forgot how to get into one. Now, if you're asking me why I haven't posted a video for such a long time, it's because of, I had some minor complications. Now, you'll be pushing daisies. Fucking haters. Now that's over and done with, let's focus on something more important. In Greece, all the senior high school students are going to write an exam that's coming up this week which will determine their entry in a university of their choice. And that exam is called... The Pandemics. Well, as you've noticed, if something contains the word hell in it, it doesn't have nothing good to say. Well, to top that, if the word contains pan in front of it, which means all, then that means that... All of my friends have totally drowned themselves in these books from morning to night, from night to day. They have deprived themselves from sleep, from fun, from living, from being teenagers. All for the risk of not even entering their own university of choice. Well, as a tribute, I will give some tips on to how to deal with these last days and to be able to be at their utmost performance in the days they're going to give their exams in order to succeed at what they are aiming for. So let's begin. Step number one, be positive. Don't think negative in any sort of way. Just imagine that everything is going to be easy. Believe that everything is going to be easy because if you don't, if you stress about it being difficult, that you're not going to succeed, it's going to be impossible. It's you're just raising the possibilities of it happening. Because those who deny chance have no chance at all. Number two, sleep. This is the most important thing you have to do. Without sleep, you are useless. The more you sleep, the better responsive you become. The quicker you think. The more alert you are to your surroundings. Also, don't read overnight. Don't read until the sun comes up. Because basically, one hour of reading awake and alert is a lot better than 10 hours asleep. Nothing gets registered when you're asleep. Step number three, spoil yourself with something that you like. Basically what I'm trying to say is that um, it's good to have something that you consider taboo that you haven't ate for a while. Like if you're on a diet, just have something that you're not supposed to. Um, it basically uplifts your mood, it makes you a lot more happier, positive. Mine is like pineapple pieces. Yours can be like pizza, it can be ice cream, it can be a souvlaki, it's not a big issue. Just have some, forget about your worries, and you'll basically feel better. But just don't binge eat. If you binge eat and overdo it, and you feel sick, it's a negative. Step number four, get outside. Going outside uplifts your mood. The sun is bright, it's freaking hot, summer's kicking in, it will actually motivate you to perform better so you can actually enjoy your summer time. You don't have to do anything fancy like go to the gym or something. There's many things that you can do as simple, active and effective. Something like this. Take your dog for a walk. Take yourself for a walk. Go for a drive. Go to the beach. Now that I've given out some of my tips, I would like to wish every student around Greece to pass where they want to pass, to succeed at their studies, because we're living in a fucked up country already. At least let them have something go their way. Don't forget to comment below writing your tips towards the students of how to deal with these last days. Also, like it, favorite it, and share it to every student that you know that is given the Panhellenix this year. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for sticking around. Until next time, lights out. Hey guys, um, apart from clicking the button above my head, check out my previous videos. Also, check out a project that I've made for everyone to participate called Time Capsule. Also, check out the link on my shirt, which is my blog, and there you'll be able to find any news first, and all the links to all the sites that I'm on to, so add me everywhere. Okay, until um, next time, see yous.